Tonight, the global balance of power is shifting, not on a battlefield, but thousands of feet in the air, where the world's most advanced aircraft carve their paths across the night sky. For decades, two giants, Boeing and Airbus, have ruled the skies, their fleets connecting millions of people and goods across continents, shaping the very fabric of modern travel and commerce. Their powerful duopoly has influenced not just economies and trade, but also the delicate balance of international relations, with every new aircraft order echoing through stock markets and diplomatic circles alike. Now, a new contender steps onto the runway. Enter China, unveiling its ambitious C919 passenger jet, a project years in the making, backed by national pride and a vision to compete on the world stage. The C919 is more than just another airplane. It stands as a bold symbol of China's technological aspirations and its determination to become a leader in global aviation. Today, December 12, 2025, marks a dramatic turning point in aviation history as the world watches a new chapter unfold. China has achieved what many thought impossible. The successful development and testing of its own advanced jet engine, the CJ-1000A, a feat that places it among a select group of nations. This technological breakthrough addresses the C-919's biggest vulnerability, its previous dependence on foreign-made engines by giving China control over the heart of its aircraft. It signals China's near self-sufficiency in one of the world's most complex and closely guarded technologies, reducing reliance on international suppliers and strengthening its position in the global market. This achievement is a direct response to rising geopolitical tensions and export restrictions, which have threatened to limit China's access to critical aviation components. Ironically, efforts to slow China's progress may have only fueled its drive for independence, accelerating innovation and investment in homegrown technology. The implications are vast, reshaping global supply chains, shifting political alliances, and redefining the future of aviation as we know it. Tonight we'll take you inside this unfolding story, exploring the forces and ambitions that brought us to this pivotal moment. How did we get here? What events and innovations paved the way for this new era in flight? What does this mean for the United States, its aviation industry, and its role in the world's skies? And most importantly, what might the future of air travel look like as new challengers rise? Let's find out together. To understand today's breakthrough, we need to rewind. The US has long dominated aviation, especially jet engines, with companies like GE and Pratt & Whitney. This technological edge is also a tool of foreign policy. Fearing China's rapid rise, the US tightened export controls on advanced engines, including the Leap 1C, which powered the first C9-119s. The goal slowed China's progress and protect Western dominance. The hope was that without these engines, the C919 would stall. But the strategy backfired. Instead of halting the program, restrictions fueled China's determination. The ban became a rallying cry, channeling resources and political will into building a homegrown engine. What was meant to be a bottleneck became a catalyst. China doubled down, making the CJ-1000A a national priority. The very policy designed to ground the C919 may have given it wings. Sometimes trying to hold a competitor back only makes them stronger. And that's exactly what happened here. The C919's journey began in 2008, led by state-owned Comac. The goal challenged the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, the backbone of global air travel. The first prototype rolled out in 2015, a moment of national pride. Its maiden flight in 2017 proved the design was airworthy, but commercial service was still years away. In 2023, the C919 entered service with China Eastern Airlines, a landmark achievement. Yet it relied heavily on Western engines and systems. Over a thousand orders poured in, mostly from Chinese airlines, but the project's fate was tied to foreign suppliers. U.S. export controls threatened to halt production at any moment. That's why, alongside the C919, a secretive mission was underway. Develop a Chinese-made engine. The CJ-1000A was the missing piece. Its success would mean true independence for China's aviation ambitions. And now that piece has finally fallen into place. Today marks a pivotal moment in aviation history as China's CJ-1000A engine has cleared a major milestone, signaling a new era for the nation's aerospace ambitions. According to Chinese state media, the CJ-1000A has successfully passed a series of rigorous ground and flight tests, not only meeting but in some areas even exceeding its ambitious design goals. This achievement is the result of years of relentless research, development, and teamwork. Dr. Li Wei, the program's official spokesperson, 
described the accomplishment as a historic moment for China's aviation industry, emphasizing its significance for the country's technological independence. The CJ-1000A is specifically engineered to directly replace the foreign-made Leap 1C engine on the C919 airliner, offering comparable thrust, fuel efficiency and reliability while being entirely homegrown. Over 100 hours of demanding flight testing on a military testbed have paved the way for the engine's upcoming certification and eventual mass production, demonstrating its readiness for commercial use. Modern jet engines like the CJ-1000A are true marvels of engineering, operating under extreme temperatures and pressures, with turbine blades spinning at speeds faster than the speed of sound, requiring precision manufacturing and advanced materials. Many international experts believe China was still a decade away from achieving this level of technological sophistication. Today's breakthrough has shattered those expectations and proven China's rapid progress. With the CJ-1000A, China can now build an entirely domestic C919 airliner, making it immune to foreign sanctions and external supply chain pressures and ensuring true self-reliance in commercial aviation. This means COMAC can confidently ramp up production, meeting the massive and growing demand within China's domestic market without the constant worry of international supply disruptions or political interference. The vulnerability that the US and other countries once sought to exploit through sanctions and export controls has now been effectively eliminated. In a powerful symbol, the Dragon has finally grown its own heart, an engine that beats with Chinese innovation and pride. The world is taking notice of this remarkable achievement as China's aviation industry steps confidently onto the global stage, ready to compete with the best. For 40 years, Boeing and Airbus have ruled commercial aviation. The C919, now with its own engine, changes everything. China's domestic market is the world's fastest growing, needing thousands of new jets. Many of those orders will now go to the homegrown C919, not Western giants. That's a multi-billion dollar shift. Comac's ambitions don't stop at China's borders. The C919 will be marketed to countries aligned with Beijing, especially those in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. For airlines a third option means more leverage and potentially lower prices. For Boeing and Airbus, it means tougher competition and squeezed profits. The era of a comfortable duopoly is over. A new three-way race in the skies has begun. The C919's success is a game-changer for China's economy. It marks a leap from assembling products to creating high-value, tech-intensive goods. An entire industrial ecosystem is forming around the C919, creating skilled jobs and driving innovation. For the US and Europe, the impact is sobering. Every C919 with a Chinese engine means lost revenue and jobs for Western suppliers. The policy meant to protect Western industry has created a formidable rival. The political fallout is clear. Technology sanctions have limits. China's achievement shows that determined nations can overcome blockades. Innovation is no longer the West's exclusive domain. The world of technology is now truly global and more competitive than ever. The West must adapt or risk falling behind. Beyond economics, the C919 is a source of immense national pride in China. It's a symbol of self-reliance and perseverance, celebrated across media and society. For many, seeing Made in China on a jet's tail is proof of the nation's progress. The C919 inspires a new generation of engineers and innovators. It shifts China's image from low-cost manufacturer to high-tech leader. This boost in soft power and confidence fuels further ambition. Success in aviation can spark advances in other fields, AI, biotech, even space. The C919 is more than an airplane. It's a catalyst for China's technological future, and its impact will be felt for years to come. We reached out to some of the world's leading aviation analysts to get their perspectives on this historic development in the industry. Dr. Richard Abulafia describes this as a watershed moment for global aviation. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, but now, with COMAX entry, the duopoly's lock is finally broken. He believes a new three-way race has officially begun, and the competitive landscape will never be the same. A former Western aerospace engineer highlights the remarkable speed of China's progress. Building a jet engine is brutally difficult, he says. It's a challenge that has taken other nations decades to master. The pressure to succeed pushed China to innovate rapidly, and their determination has paid off in a big way. Julia Chen, an aviation finance analyst, points out that China's vast domestic market alone will make Comac a giant. With hundreds of millions of potential passengers, 
the company has the scale to challenge Boeing and Airbus not just at home, but on the global stage as well. The real battle, experts agree, is for the next 20 years of aircraft orders. Airlines around the world are planning their future fleets, and the choices they make now will shape the industry for decades. But there's a significant catch, international certification remains a major hurdle for COMAC. A European regulator explains that for the C919 to fly in the US or Europe, it must secure approval from both ESA and the FAA. This is a long, rigorous process involving extensive safety and performance checks, and it's not guaranteed. Achieving domestic certification is a major milestone, but gaining global acceptance is an even bigger challenge. Only then can the C919 truly compete worldwide. The C919's technical achievement is undeniable. It stands as a symbol of China's growing capabilities in high-tech manufacturing and engineering. Yet, its journey to becoming a truly global aircraft is just beginning. The road ahead is filled with both opportunities and obstacles. The world will be watching closely. The stakes for airlines, manufacturers, and even entire economies are enormous. And now, the race is officially on. A new era in aviation has begun. The sky may look unchanged, but the aviation world is transformed. The Boeing Airbus duopoly is ending. China's CJ-1000A engine is more than engineering, it's a geopolitical milestone. A policy meant to ground a rival has instead fueled its rise. The C919's path ahead is challenging proving safety, earning trust, and facing fierce competition. But for the first time, China has all the pieces to be a true contender. This story is a lesson in global competition. Technological leadership must be earned, not assumed. Trying to wall off technology can backfire, spurring rivals to innovate even faster. The C919's journey is far from over. Its impact will ripple through economies, industries, and international relations. The future of air travel and global power is being rewritten. How should nations compete in this new era? What does it mean for cooperation and innovation? The world is watching. Good night.